Thank you, uh, Sarah Merkley. Uh, I just want to say I've been listening to all the testimony here. This is one of the most pathetic and disgraceful hearings in which I've participated in my eight years in the Congress. It's clear to me that every one of you were sent here, probably with directions directly from your CEOs and your board, not to say a single cross word about the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, and for that matter, I think most of you could be spouting talking points of the Chinese Communist Party. So we're gonna see about that in a moment. I've got a few questions for all of you. First though, I just wanna address uh, some questions to Mr. Lawley from Coca-Cola. Um, Mr. Lawley, earlier this year, uh, when the Georgia legislature passed an election reform law, your CEO, James Quincy, decided that he was gonna weigh in against it and your, camp your company was gonna lead a bunch of other woke corporations to denounce that law. Uh, let me ask you first, is James Quincy an American citizen? I, I, I don't, I, he's, I believe he is a citizen of, I believe he is, yes. Can you tell me when he naturalized as an American citizen? I do not, I cannot tell you that. Yeah, well, your company and Mr. Quincy seems to have done an extremely thorough job of trying to conceal that fact. So I would like you to return to me on the, on the record uh, in written uh, testimony, if necessary, if James Quincy is an American citizen. Then I'll take that question back. So you, you, your company said at the time that we will continue to stand up for what is right in Georgia and across the United States. So we to take from your uh, that statement at the time that Coca-Cola will not stand up for what is right outside the United States, because that's what it sounds like this morning in this testimony. No, Senator, we, we stand up for what is right across the world. We apply the same human rights principles in the United States that we do across the world. Do you believe that uh, the Chinese Communist Party is committing genocide against the Uyghur people? We're aware of the reports of the State Department on this issue, as well as other departments uh, of the U.S. government. We respect those reports. They continue to inform our program, as do reports from other from civil society. Uh, See, we this is what I'm talking about. Uh, under questioning from Senator Merkley and Representative McGovern and Representative Chris Smith, every single one of you refused to say a single word, by all appearances, that will cost you one bit of market share inside of mainland China. Um, Mr. Lawley, for instance, um, you were asked if, if Coca-Cola would call for the IOC to delay the Chinese Olympics, to give a chance for them to be rebid or for China to stop its genocide against its own people. And you said uh, that Coca-Cola, quote, I think this is your exact words, quote, doesn't have a say, end quote. So can you, can you tell me why Coca-Cola doesn't have a say in whether it sponsors the genocide Olympics next year, but it does have a say in how the state of Georgia runs its election laws? Senator, what I, what I stated was that we did not have a say in the selection of the host city, nor on whether an Olympics is, is postponed or relocated. You, yeah, so you don't, uh, but you could just make a statement. Your CEO could saddle up the same moral high horse that he got on when Georgia passed its election law and write a letter to the IOC and ask them to. Anybody can do that. As I stated, we if he's an American citizen, that's his rights under our constitution. As I stated, we are most engaged on policy issues here at home, but we are clear in our respect for human rights globally. Can you so can you explain to me why James Quincy will den not denounce a democratically elected legislature's laws, but he will not simply say that the IOC should consider rebidding its Olympics or that Coca-Cola should consider sponsoring the genocide Olympics? What's the what's the difference there? Our role as a sponsor is to support and follow the athletes. Your, they so, so, so you're sponsoring the Genocide Olympics. You are spending millions of dollars to sponsor the Genocide Olympics, yet you will not opine on any matter about it, yet you will stick your nose in the Georgia legislature's election reform laws. Can you explain to me the contrast? First, let me say that we do not make decisions on these host locations. We support and follow the athletes wherever they compete. Yeah, no, I've heard your talking points and I'm tired of hearing them, Mr. Lawley. I'm asking you a simple question. Why is it that Coca-Cola will opine on Georgia's election laws, but not on the Genocide Olympics? As I stated, Georgia is our home. It's where most many of our employees are hit or live and work. And we are most engaged on public policy issues here in the U.S. But I think the, I think the are, answer is you're afraid are, of the Chinese Communist Party. You're afraid okay. of what they will do to your company if you say a single word, like for instance, saying that both the Biden and the Trump administration are correct when they say that China is committing a genocide against its own people. Let's ask that simple question of the other witnesses. Mr. Holyoke, 
Will you agree with the Trump and Biden administrations that China is committing genocide against the Uyghur people? Thank you, Senator, for the question. Uh, human rights is core to our, our values and principles as a company. Um, or we would defer to the U.S. government or other experts who are better equipped than us to, to address that. All right, let's try Mr. Rogers. Will he answer the question? Mr. Rogers, do you agree with the Trump and the Biden administration that the Chinese Communist Party is committing genocide against the Uyghur people? Senator, we don't do business in Xinjiang. That was true before the State Department issued its report. I've read the State Department report, I've studied it, and I believe its conclusions. Thank you, Mr. Rogers, for a straight answer. Mr. Mulvaney, do you agree with the Trump and the Biden administration that the Chinese Communist Party is committing genocide against the Uyghur people? Senator Cotton, PNG supports human rights all around the world in our operations. On this particular issue, directly to your question, Senator, we believe that it is the role and responsibility of government to make these determinations. Okay, so I'll take that as you also are joining some of your colleagues in dodging and you refuse to state that simple basic question. Uh, Ms. Fairchild, now to you. Do you agree with the Trump and the Biden administration that the Chinese Communist Party is committing genocide against the Uyghur people? Thank you, Senator. We oppose genocide anywhere that it is happening, and that is why, as a company, we are guided by those UN principles. But as the other members have said, Visa is not in a position to make those kinds of determinations, and we defer and respect our governments. All right, so one for five. That's why I say this is the most pathetic, disgraceful hearing in which I participated in eight years. Obviously, every one of you, with the exception on occasion of Mr. Rogers, were sent here with orders not to say anything that could offend the Chinese Communist Party. Um, you know, I'll, I'll just close with the story, Mr. Lolly. I used to drink a lot of Coca-Cola uh, back when I was a kid and a young man. I stopped drinking it before I joined the Army because I knew the Army wouldn't offer it in places like basic training and officer candidate school and ranger school. One night uh, in ranger school, when you get by on uh, just a few hundred calories a day, uh, we were able to buy hot dogs and Cokes. And I bought them because I was so hungry. I took a drink of the Coke and I spit it out because I hadn't had one in two years. I couldn't tolerate the taste of it. That's about the feeling I have today about your testimony and about all of the witnesses' testimony in this pathetic hearing. Senator Khan, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you reconsider that position. And uh, we, we respect human rights globally and we earn our social license every day. We take that very seriously. Well, you, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't know you wouldn't know from this testimony, um, Senator Merkley. I'm going to yield my time back. 